it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're going to learn how to crochet this gorgeous Estelle slouch hat. This is a beautiful hat that is very elegant, beautiful yarn, but it's also as comfy and cozy as a favorite t-shirt. We are going to learn how to make this hat from the bottom up. We're going to start by working the brim with some front post double crochet stitches to get this lovely ribbing. Next, we're going to switch to some V-stitch to give us a lacy textured top and then we're going to learn how to cinch the top. These are some easy stitches. We're going to go through it every step of the way together. Now the finished hat has a circumference of about 24 inches, a finished height of about 12 inches, and our brim here is about two inches high. I will show you later on in the video if you need to customize the circumference and the height if you want to make it less slouchy or more slouchy etc as well as open it up or make it smaller if you like as well. As always, the written pattern, the full written pattern could be found on the Fiberflux blog. The link is below. So if you like to follow along with the written pattern and see all the supplies and everything laid out, you can follow it there. Also, if you love PDF patterns, um, be sure and join us over at Patreon where I share a, P a full PDF pattern booklet of the month's patterns um, every month for my patrons. So the link can be found for that below as well. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a ruler or tape measure is great to get the sizing that you're after. We're going to be using a 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook for this project. Uh, this is my Furls Streamline resin hook in the Taurus colorway. Um, it's a really fun hook. I'll put the link down below in a coupon code if you'd like to get one for yourself. The yarn that we'll be using is 240 yards of bulky weight yarn. Now I have two skeins here of a yarn called Aldine Wools. It's a knit crate yarn um, in the haze. And the color is called Lucid. And um, each one of these is 120 yards. So 240 yards of bulky weight yarn and you'll be just fine. Also, I'll put the link for a knit crate and a coupon code if you'd like to check out their yarns as well. That's where this yarn came from. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my yarn and hook and I'm ready to go. As a side note, I wound my skein into a cake. Um, now you can wind it into a regular ball if you don't have a ball winder and a swift. Um, I did mine into a cake. Uh, I also have a cuff one here. It's a super helpful little tool to have. It's just like a stretchy um, cuff basically you put around your cake and it holds it together because it's center pull it tends to collapse after a while so this will hold it and kind of snug it in as you work so they're really handy if you're interested in these um, I get them from a super cute shop um, I can put the link down below if you need it so let's get started I pulled some yarn out here and what we're gonna do is work our starting chain first now our starting chain is 56 and that's the circumference I need for, it's about a women's medium if you want it on the slouchy side. If you need to change your starting change chain for the circumference of your hat, just work in a multi, an even multiple. So any even number will be just fine. Okay, let me just get all this out of the way. What we're gonna do first is put a slip knot on our hook. So wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Then we're gonna do the starting chain of 56. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 53, 54, 55, and 56. So here is our starting chain, and you might wanna just kind of like connect it and just put it around your head just to make sure. Mine is a kind of a looser slouchy fit, it's not gonna be snugged up. Okay, the next thing we need to do is join with a slip stitch in the farthest chain from the hooks. So that first chain that we made all the way down at the end, we're gonna join with a slip stitch. Now we need to be careful though, before we do that, to not twist our chain, okay? So the easy foolproof way to do that is to just look at your chain and the front of it are these little V's that are kind of stacked on top of one another. If you flip it over, it sort of looks like chain link, like a chain link fence. So flip it back over so those V's are facing you. And what I do is I take my thumb and run it down the fronts of those V's all the way down. If you get to a twisty part, just kind of pinch it with your other hand and see how I had to like twist this back around. 
and run your thumb all the way down those V's. Look, I have another twisty area. All the way down without letting go. Just kind of like run your thumb all the way down. And now your chain, even, even if you drop it, see how it looks all kind of crunchy again? It'll be straightened out and you'll have it in the right spot, okay? So what you wanna do is insert your hook into that farthest chain from the hook. Grab your yarn again. Wrap the yarn around the hook. Bring it through that chain. Now bring that loop that's on your hook through the loop that was already there, okay? And now your hat has a bottom edge, okay? So what we're gonna do next is to begin round one. For round one, what we're gonna do is chain three. One, two, three. This is gonna count as one of our double crochets. We're gonna be working double crochets all the way around for this first round. So we're just gonna get this tail kind of out of the way right now. We're not gonna worry about it. We'll weave that in later. And we're gonna go to this first chain that we see on our edge, okay? So to make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into that first chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Then we're going to work another double crochet in the next chain, another double crochet into the next chain, and so forth, all the way around. And this is gonna start to build the brim of our hat. I'm just get a little bit more yarn here. So just keep working your double crochets in each chain all the way around. And when we rejoin, I'm gonna show you how to close up round one and we're gonna move on to round two. Round two, we're gonna start working some post stitches and it will give us some beautiful ribbing to create our hats brim, okay? So keep working your double crochets all the way around and when we rejoin, we'll finish up round one and move on to round two. All right, we're coming up to the end of the round. I'm just working my last double crochet. And then to close the round, what we're gonna do is we're gonna count three chains up. Remember that chain three at the beginning of the round? We're gonna go one, two, three, and insert the hook into that third chain up, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And round one is complete. So we have a nice little double crochet band here. For our next round, round two, we're going to um, start with some ribbing, like I mentioned before. We're gonna chain three once again. One, two, three. Now in that first double crochet that you come to, we're going to work, and I'm gonna zoom way in so you can see better. We're gonna work a front post double crochet in each stitch around. So if you've never done that before, all you do is you wrap yarn around hook, like you're making a double crochet, and then you're gonna see this post here you're gonna come, instead of working in the stitch at the top, you're gonna to come up under that double crochet post from the previous round, wrap yarn around hook, bring the yarn back through, you'll have three loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. And what that does is that creates like a, a column okay, so you can see it's like a continuous column. That's gonna give us some cute ribbing on our hat. Let's do a few more together and then we'll finish the rest of the round. All right, let's do that again. Wrap yarn around hook, come up under that post, yarn around hook, bring it back through, three loops, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So just work a front post double crochet in each one of these double crochets all the way around, okay? So I'm gonna continue around and when we rejoin, we will see our progress and continue on to the next round. Just coming up to the end of round two with our last front post double crochet and then we're back at that starting chain. So the same thing to close the round you're just going to count three chains up one two three and join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay so you can see we have some really nice texture happening here. For round three, we're just gonna do the same exact thing we did for round two, okay? So chain three, one, two, three, and then just work once again a front post double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So you're just gonna go all the way around working those front post double crochets. Just coming up to the end of round three, working that last 
front post double crochet. And then the same thing, we're gonna join in that third chain up. One, two, three. With a slip stitch. And round three is complete. All right, we're gonna continue with our brim onto round four. Same thing, chain three, one, two, three. And once again, just work a front post double crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're just getting a little bit of height on our brim. Once we get the height that we need, we can start working on the top part. Okay, so just keep working those front post double crochets all the way around and we'll rejoin in just a moment. Okay, just working that last front post double crochet of the round. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Join with a slip stitch to close in that third chain up. And round four is complete. So now we have a lovely brim. And we're gonna get started on the top part of our hat next. So the top part of our hat is a simple, sweet little V stitch, a stitch I use quite a bit in my work. So all we need to do for that is chain three, one, two, Three. And then what we're going to do is in, see that first front post double crochet? We're going to skip that one and go to the next stitch and work a V stitch. So work a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that's it. We have our first V. My yarn balls all flipped around here. All right, skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, work your next V double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're just doing this all the way around. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. We're getting some pretty texture here. Whoops, didn't do that last loop there. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, work your next V. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. My yarn ball is uh, kind of rolling around over here. Okay, skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Super easy. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Whoops, I'm gonna redo that last stitch. My yarn split a little. Just gonna work that last double crochet and redo it. If you ever have a stitch that doesn't look nice to you or splits or just pull it out and redo it, it's much easier to do it now. Okay, moving right along. Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. 
Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, work your next V. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch and the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. All right, we're coming around the bend here. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Getting closer here, skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, work your next B, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, skip the next stitch in the stitch after that, work your next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And now we're at the end of the row, so we're going to skip the next stitch, and then after that we're at our starting chain. So count one, two, three chains up, and we're going to close with a slip stitch. Insert the hook, bring up a loop, bring that through through the loop that's already on your hook, and the round is complete. So we have some nice V stitch happening. So then what we're gonna do is start on round six. Round six is the round we'll do for the rest of our hat until we get to the height that we want. So it's gonna kind of be like a cylinder tube, and then we're going to um, cinch the top of it last. So let's do round six, because round six will, like I said, be the round you'll keep doing. So what we're gonna do for this round, this is a very easy round, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And then what we're gonna do in the center of each one of these V's, remember we did a double crochet, chain one, double crochet? That created a space, a chain one space. So, so in the center of each V, that chain one space, we're going to work a V, okay? So super easy. So right in that first V you see, work a double crochet, right in that space, chain one, double crochet. So our V's will start to stack on themselves. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we're just gonna do this, whoops, let me redo that one. We're just gonna do this all the way around our hat, okay? Let's do a few more together. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next V, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, okay? And we're just gonna do this all the way around, and then we're gonna rejoin in just a moment, and I'll show you how to finish up this row. Okay, we're coming up to the end of round six. Just working those last couple of Vs on the round. And we just have one more here. Chain one, double crochet, and then to close the round, we're just going to work a slip stitch in that third chain up. Same thing we've been doing all along. One, two, three, and work a slip stitch to close the round, and round six is complete. So for the rest of your hat, what you're going to do is just keep working round six over and over and over again until your hat is as tall as you would like it to be. I'm gonna keep working my rounds and we'll rejoin in just a minute. I'm gonna tell you how many total rounds that I did, but really you can make this, if you want it to be a little bit more form-fitting, you can make it shorter so it's more snug against the top of your head, or if you want it to be more slouchy, you just keep going. So I'm gonna keep going with my round six and we'll rejoin in just a minute. I'll give you some counts of how many rounds that I ended up doing for my hat. Okay, just working that last V stitch of our round. 
And then we're gonna once again join to close with a slip stitch in that third chain up. Okay, so let me just zoom out a little bit because I wanna show you, when you're making your hat, um, I made mine nice and tall. It looks very tall for a hat. Um, we're gonna cinch up the top, but it still looks kind of tall, and that's because it's gonna be nice and slouchy. If you don't want yours to have as much slouch, like I mentioned before, just uh, have it a little lower, take it down a little bit. Okay, the last thing we need to do is weave in our ends and cinch up the top of our hat. So let's grab our scissors. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the yarn, but we're gonna do a long tail. Now I'm gonna do about 12, or uh, excuse me, 24 inches or so. That should be plenty. Cut the yarn, you can put it aside. And I'm gonna take my hook. I didn't take it off the loop yet. We're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the loop, and then just go ahead and pull it all the way through just to fasten it off and kind of snug that knot down. Then what you're gonna do is turn your hat, we're gonna leave that long tail up there, we're gonna turn our hat inside out. My hook's rolling around. Okay, we're gonna turn our hat inside out and I'm gonna just put my tail back at the top here. And then we're going to grab, let's do this bottom tail first and just kind of get it out of the way. So grab your tapestry needle, and I like to just give it a twist. It helps send it through the eye a little bit better when, especially when it's a big bulky strand like this. And we're just going to weave in the ends. So just weave that tail up into this hat, and I'm gonna stay in the back loops. Now this, remember this is the inside of the hat. I'm gonna stay in these back loops so that um, it doesn't show on the other side. And then I'm gonna come back in the other direction, and also um, coming back in the other direction will help kind of lock your tail in, but also you can go in between some of these yarn plies too. Okay, then just give it a little trim, okay? And that part is done. Then let's spin the hat around. We're gonna go up to the top here and grab your tail, give it a twist, thread your needle. And you notice I have a, a big chunky needle because we have a big strand of yarn. Now I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little bit better here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of thread this in and out, in and out, all the way around the edge of our hat so that um, we can pull it up tight and cinch it almost like a drawstring bag, okay? This is a really easy way to do a hat. All right, so what we're gonna do is just see these um, little stitches along the top edge? We're just gonna kinda go in and out. You don't have to do every single one, maybe like every other one, but just go in and out, in and out, all the way around. You can turn your hat if you need to. In and out, in and out. Oh, and I've located another end I need to weave in, just as a side note, if you used uh, two skeins like I did or more, or did some striping, you may have some more ends to weave in. So I'll take care of those too. Okay, we're just going in and out with our needle. And when you run out of uh, needle there, see how it's all scrunched down on my needle, you can kind of pull it through. But just uh, kind of hold your thumb where you left off so you don't have a big gap in your cinch. Okay, so go back to weaving this in and out, in and out. all the way around, turning as you work, pulling it through as needed. Then we're just gonna keep going around and around, all the way around our hat. And just make sure you do this at fairly um, even spa evenly spaced intervals so that um, your hat will cinch up evenly when you pull it tight. And we're almost back at the beginning. I went kind of slow on this just to get my cinch nice, okay? And I can see we're here where we left off, okay? So what we're gonna do is come out, pull it through. And as you can see, I have a lot of extra yarn. When I'm cutting the yarn, I do an extra long piece. I'd rather have too much than not enough. So our hat, as you can see, has already started to cinch here, and you're just gonna pull it up nice and neat. Make sure there's no bulk. 
I mean, we do have a bulky yarn, but just make sure there's no like really huge folds or anything like that, okay? And when you pull it, pull it nice and tight, but don't pull it so tight because you can uh, actually snap your yarn in half at this point. It's, it's being pulled very tightly. Okay, now while I'm holding it with this hand, because I don't want to let go because my cinch will kind of open back up, but what we're going to do is while I'm holding that nice and tight, I'm going to go in with my other hand and come in. I might need to kind of wiggle it in there, especially if you have a large eye like I do. I'm still holding that tight, and I'm just going to pull it through just to get it nice and tight. And then I'm just going to do this a few times because I want I don't want my hat to come open, okay? And then what you can do too is leave yourself, pull it almost all the way through, leave yourself a little loop, send your needle through the loop. That will put a nice knot on there. You can do that a couple of times and just get it nicely fastened. If you have a little opening here, you can take your needle and you can pick up on one side and you can go across like a little bridge and go to the other side with your needle. And once again, you can leave yourself a loop like this. Send your needle through that loop just to give yourself a secure knot, okay? So just do that a few times until your hat feels very secure on top. And I'm actually going, I put my finger through one of these V, v uh, the V stitches, the spaces from the Vs, and I'm sort of like guiding my hand on the other side, okay? So just work your needle and do that a few times. Just like that. And then right then and there, while you still have everything in front of you like this, go ahead and weave that end in. Okay, so just go with your needle. Stay on the insides of the loops. We don't want it to show on the other side. And the V stitch is kind of uh, a little lacy. So you wanna make sure it's nice and neat and you're not seeing all these things traveling around on the outside of your hat, okay? All right, so I wove my end in, everything's all cinched up. And I'm just gonna give it a little trim. And then, again, if you have any other tails, like see I have two tails here, go ahead and take care of those real quick. I, uh, same thing, just go in one direction. And if you like, come back in the other direction. That really helps, I think. And trim, and I have one last tail. And then we're gonna flip it around to the outside and look at the beautiful hat we just made, okay? So super easy way to make a hat. Okay, just get those tails out of the way. And then what we're going to do is flip our hat, let's zoom out a little bit, flip our hat out. You can see we have a lovely little cinch on top, very easy and simple looking our brim and then when you wear it um, you can go on the blog and look at photos of it too but when you wear it you just kind of let it like hang down like this and that beautiful brim is showing on top so our hat is finished and it looks beautiful it's ready to wear so that is how you crochet the Estelle slouch hat thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest fiberflux video updates thanks again